Hello, I'm Mimi Secor, family nurse practitioner specializing in women's health, and today we're talking about the new pap smear cervical cancer screening guidelines just released this past month by the United States Preventative Services Task Force and also the American Cancer Society. Extending the pap smear guidelines for women in their 20s to every three years, and for women 30 and over, every five years. This is shocking information, but basically it's based on the best research we have indicating these are safe intervals. So the situation with cervical cancer is that it still is diagnosed in 12,000 women a year here in the United States. And a third of those women, approximately 4,000 women, die each year from cervical cancer. So this is still a very urgent issue and one that all the clinicians and all the consumers of the world need to know about. So why do these changes occur? These changes occur because of research indicating that when women are getting screenings that they are able to pick up on problems that are precancers early enough to allow for these intervals to occur. So one of the goals behind screening women for cervical cancer is to pick up precancer and that usually is five to ten years ahead of when women would ever be at risk for invasive cancer. So we have a lot of lead time and that's the reason why it's so important for women to continue to get screenings. Even though they're not as frequent as we used to recommend, it's still important. And this still means that women need to get their yearly checkups as well, uh, with or without a pap smear. The other change, which isn't really a change, is the continued recommendation that women not receive, cer not receive cervical cancer screening tests until the age of 21. That's because the risk of cervical cancer under that age is so low, under 1%. The other good news is when women reach 65, if they've had three consecutive pap smears that are negative, they can stop having cervical cancer screening tests. Another important change is that if women have had a hysterectomy, they no longer have to have cervical cancer screenings unless they had the hysterectomy for cancer, in which case then they still need to get vaginal pap smears every year. For more information about cervical cancer screening and the HPV testing, go to my website, mimisecor.com, or to either one of the organizations that I mentioned, the United States Preventative Services Task Force or the American Cancer Society. Have a great day and thank you for joining me.